today i'm making ataji milk papebi or tiger nut pudding hello everyone welcome once more to kicking it if you this is a foodie channel and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe like comment and share this video and please click on the post notification bell as well so that anytime i post a new video you'll be notified so let's get right into the video so for my list of ingredients i have in my tiger nut over there and also i also have some long grain rice you can use a uh, local rice if you want so next i'll be washing my tiger nut very well to get all the dates out from it so i'll be washing this for at least three times and i'll be soaking this and my rice overnight you can soak it for at least six hours if you want in a day but if you soak it overnight trust me it's going to make the blending process very easy for you and also tastes really good as well and trust me one of the main reason why i'm soaking this overnight is because my tiger nut is really old it's not all that fresh so i'm soaking it to get a lot of juice out of it because when soaking it it will really absorb the water so when blending you really get a lot of water while straining it and yes this is after eight hours of soaking it and it's ready so i'll add everything to a blender and blend until everything becomes very very smooth because we don't want to waste a tiger nut at all we want it very smooth so that i'll add in water to it for easy blending and also get a lot of juice from it so now we are done blending our tiger nuts and our rice and just look at how our tiger nut has really blend very well so next we're going to strain this juice to get all the chaff out of it trust me so you need a clean net or a clean chiffon cloth that will help you strain this juice very well so that's what i'm doing now and in this tiger nut pudding i use about two cups of tiger nut and also half cup of rice remember we are not making rice pudding so obviously the tiger nut should be more than the rice we don't want the rice to overtake the tiger nut and if you let the rice overtake the tiger nut trust me you're not going to love the taste after making this pudding and just look at how smooth this looks this is the right consistency i'll be going for In an empty pot, I'll add in my tiger nut milk and I'll be stirring this on low heat. Trust me, you need to stir this drink periodically because we don't want it to burn. Also, we don't want to have any lumpiness in it. So make sure this is on very low heat before you even add in your drink to your pot. Stir this until this thickens up very well. And do you see the difference over there? the tiger nut pudding has really taken up very well and it's been 15 minutes of cooking this and this doesn't take long time to cook trust me so i'll move to the next stage and i'll set this aside and guys sorry for this i added in a pinch of salt but unfortunately my camera couldn't capture this i'm so sorry and i hope next time i'm not going to disappoint you next i'll be melting about half cup of sugar and trust me this will help the tiger nut looks more like a brownish color as you always see on market yes so that is the secret and make sure this sugar doesn't burn because when it burns you're going to have a sour taste in your pudding and you don't want that after it has melted beautiful just as it's seen right now i'll add in just a little bit of water to it to reduce the sugar content a little bit yes and this is optional you can choose not to do it and after adding in the water trust me you need to stir this very well so that it doesn't create lumps in it so this is the right consistency i'll be going for next i'll be adding in my melted sugar gradually and please stay as soon as you add it just as you seen right now so i will leave this to cook for additional two to three minutes and our tiger nut pudding should be ready by then 
and to my new babies out here thank you guys for coming to my channel this is a foodie channel and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel as well and to my returning subscribers i love you guys always for supporting me you guys are always the best and guys do you see the color difference over there this is the right color i am looking for and it is just perfect and delicious as well and if you really want this to thicken up a little bit then let this cool down before you serve this trust me because i really love it when it has cooled down so i don't know of you if you really want it hot leave a comment in the comment section yes so i enjoyed this tiger nut pudding with my evaporated milk and it tastes really delicious trust me if you like this video don't forget to hit that bell subscribe and be part of this family thank you for watching